Welcome to the Design Knit video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be using a multicolored photo and converting it into a stitch pattern for a child's top. First, we need to get some information on our sweater front so that we know the size of the area of the design that we can work with to fit properly on the garment. Let's go into Original Pattern Drafting and open up a file, Child's Top. We want to centralize this piece and I want to say view info and it tells me that the front is 124 stitches wide and the 168 rows from here to the top of the shoulder we really want to use this ruler and go from 0 up to 145 instead of the 168 this is the usable height of our design so we have 124 and 145 so remember those numbers and we run into Design Knit Graphics Studio next. I don't need to save these changes. Now I'm going to say File, Open a Graphic. This is a Cocker Spaniel basket of two puppies. I've cropped out some of the background here and some of the background down here so that it's going to be a little easier to convert. Um, the grid conversion settings are going to be 124 stitches wide we said and it says at this tension it should be 79 rows which we're going to say 80 rows because it's a requirement for multicolored jacquard okay to continue the next thing to do is say image and type and make sure that this is set for a picture not a, not a black and white diagram the conversion settings are four colors per row there's no bird's eye right now and it says to keep the edges sharp and we'll fool around with that in a minute. The wool box we have four different colors that um, I've picked out. We can open up the wool box and I have another wool box that I've created just for these puppies and I can say apply this and it applies it like this. I can open up my conversion settings window now and I can say I'd like to have it half bird's eye apply this now it's coming in better I'd like to apply even more apply and you can see that there's puppies now you can see there's there's all this background that we're gonna have to edit out later so wouldn't it be nice if we edit it out first I've gone out of design Init and into a, a program for Adobe Photoshop and I've cleaned up all this using and I get this so this is cleaned up in Adobe Photoshop and you can see that there's going to be a lot less uh, coloring to deal with and stitch editing in the stitch design section of the program this time we're going to say color and we still have our four colors here I'm going to open up the the palette that we had before and I'm going to say apply this and you can see that there's much less issues here with correcting and editing these pieces in fact this will just brush right out and this will brush right out and we'll be pretty close apply the preview conversion this is pretty close to what we would like we can fool around a little bit more with the conversion settings and say we want a little bit less bird, bird's eye and you can fool around to get it exactly what you want you can say keep the edges sharp or you can and it keeps these I think it works better if you say apply the merge the boundaries this is a little bit smoother now so we're gonna drop the bird's eye a little bit more and see if we like that and I actually like the bird's eye up a little bit further so this is okay you can see the little nose and everything okay to continue OK to go out of Graphic Studio. Save these settings, yes. We're going to be knitting on the SK840 in four color per row jacquard. OK. It's saying that there's 115 jacquard errors in the pattern. That's OK. Here's our four colors, yarn colors. We're going to say check jacquard and it's going to tell me that I have 115 errors so I want to correct these automatically I'm going to say yes so this is actually coming quite cleanly I have a little bit here to clean up I have a little bit here to clean up I have this 
is a bird's eye. This needs to be picked up and uh, painted like so and edited with a pencil but you get the idea and for the background we need to also edit some of this out and then use a pencil when we get close this is edited out it needs to be edited as well and there needs to be some editing fine tune editing in here to get the O's and little puppy's feet all working nicely together I have this one that I've finished cleaning up and you can see I've cleaned up this area around here and I've cleaned up this area I've cleaned up this but I've left some of the shading in so that you get the shading of the kind of a light cast on it alright so we have this puppy's pattern now I can say edit and copy this it's okay to copy it into the computer's clipboard I'm going to say file new pattern setup I'm going to set the size we have a child's top for the size of the front okay so now I have piece big enough for the front at 32 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters okay it actually may sit in the background color of the back I didn't really want that but we'll go ahead and um, paste this edit paste this in and uh, which is another way of saying edit import let's put this right about here click outside the, the sweater and this is what it would look like knit up I have to fix this a little bit that's not a problem we can do that right now with a brush and a little bit of black up here and a little bit over here and we have a puppy's sweater which would be really cute for a child thank you